Hi, I'm Dana. I'm a sculptor living in Austin, Texas, and I thought I would take a closer look at mixing silicone rubber. It's really pretty simple, and if you do it right, you'll get a perfect mix every time. Now I'm going to mix up some GT6142, and I always start by zeroing my scale, shaking my catalyst to make sure it's mixed well, and then I pour the catalyst into my mixing cup first. The ratio is 10 to 1, so I'm measuring out the appropriate amount. And then I swirl it around a little bit to coat the sides of my container. I'm going to zero my scale again and pour out the appropriate amount of silicone on top of the catalyst. Putting the catalyst in the cup first and then the silicone means that I don't get a lot of uncatalyzed silicone stuck to the edges of my mixing cup. I like to pour the silicone out of the five gallon bucket and into a more manageable sized container. It makes it a little easier to pour, especially when I'm doing small batches. Now that I've got my silicone measured out, I'm going to mix it with this tongue depressor. If I'm mixing a large amount of material, I'll use a drill with a mixer. But for this small amount, it's more effective to mix it by hand. As I'm mixing, I scrape the sides of the cup and try to mix it really thoroughly. And then I always dump it from the first cup into a second cup and then mix it a second time. I use this technique for any catalyzed material and that ensures that I don't get any uncatalyzed product in my project. It works every time. Once I've dumped it into my second cup, then I mix it a little bit more and I'll be ready to put it on my project. Now before I use a brush to put this on my mold, I'm going to tug lightly on the bristles of the brush and try to pull out any loose bristles so that I don't get a lot of them in my project.